I'm uh, happily visiting the Shanghai event to present uh, two works uh, during uh, lunch time sessions. Uh, so the first work uh, we already have presented uh, just one week ago in uh, New York during Real World Crypto event is uh, a joint work with uh, Leonid Raisin of Boston University and uh, our another guy, uh, Dmitry Meshkov, uh, named uh, Improving Authenticated dynamic dictionaries with applications to cryptocurrencies. And uh, this is about solving some uh, hard problems uh, in uh, the area of uh, scalability of the blockchain. So uh, hopefully we can uh, solve uh, some issues uh, with uh, our uh, improved uh, authenticated uh, data structures. Um, another work uh, I will present during uh, lunchtime uh, tomorrow is about a hybrid proof of work, proof of stake uh, protocol uh, named Twins Chain. Uh, this is uh, the joint work with uh, Professor Hong Sheng of uh, Virginia Commonwealth University and uh, his student, uh, Lei Fan of uh, Janton University, and uh, Tuyet Dong of uh, Virginia Commonwealth University. Uh, the main motivation of the work is to secure a uh, major blockchain against an uh, adversarial majority of mining power uh, by using uh, proof-of-stake component. So first we have uh, already major blockchain uh, with um, stake distribution, uh, well, hopefully honest, and uh, then we use uh, proof-of-stake component to secure uh, the blockchain against uh, majority of adversarial mining power. Just after uh, this event, uh, I'm uh, hopefully releasing the new major release of Scorex, Scorex 2.0. So it's 95% uh, ready, so uh, the code is mostly done. And the uh, documentation is also 90% ready. Uh, so it will be released in coming weeks. And uh, uh, this is uh, uh, like rewrite of the uh, Scorex, so uh, not much in common with the uh, previous major version. So it's uh, completely new work, and uh, I would be happy to present it soon. Uh, so it's a totally different uh, architecture, and uh, now uh, it supports. Uh, a broad range of designs, so uh, not only blockchains, but uh, tree structures and uh, more complex uh, structures of uh, history. In a, in a, well, now not a blockchain, but <laughs> a block somewhat system. And um, uh, it is also about a better support of uh, uh, hybrid systems like proof of work, proof of stake. So uh, our reference twins chain implementation is done uh, on top of uh, Scorex 2.0, and uh, well, it was done very efficiently. So uh, hopefully, it uh, would be a good uh, example of uh, how Scorex 2.0 is useful in uh, fast prototyping. Idea of um, our work on. Uh, improving authenticated dynamic dictionaries is um, in the first place uh, to develop uh, data structure working in a two-party model. Uh, so uh, usually most of work in authenticated data structures assuming a three-party model where we have uh, some trusted broker and uh, we don't have any trusted broker in cryptocurrency. So um, we have only a prover and a verifier and a prover which is a miner is generating proofs and then a verifier is able to get a new root hash from just uh, proofs so uh, without uh, holding the whole data structure and um, also we spend a lot of time counting uh, each uh, byte in our proofs so uh, you know uh, the space is very limited uh, in the blockchain so uh, we uh, produced a lot of efforts to compress our proofs and uh, we uh, made a, a new 
uh, kind of compression, so uh, batch compression when we are combining uh, multiple proofs into a single batch proofs. Uh, so uh, this is about a significant improvement, uh, much better than uh, you can do with uh, just a simple J-zipping of proofs or, well, whatever compression. The main application uh, we intended uh, our work for is uh, uh, to authenticate uh, the whole state of uh, cryptocurrency uh, because, uh, well, other solutions are whether inefficient or just not suitable for a cryptocurrency uh, to authenticate uh, the whole state. So um, our solution is uh, dynamic, so uh, authenticated uh, data structure is modifiable. And um, yeah, it works in two-party model and uh, uh, proof length is uh, uh, optimal. And also, yeah, we made further improvements with uh, the help of uh, batching compression. Um, so uh, for a cryptocurrency setting, well, this is uh, probably um, the best uh, solution we can think about at the moment. For example, in Bitcoin, this is um, about a set of unspent outputs. So um, a state is uh, something uh, enough to validate an arbitrary transaction. And uh, yeah, no, no, nothing more. So uh, some nodes can store also some specific information, but uh, we are uh, talking about some, uh, well, minimal state. Every uh, full node in a cryptocurrency net network knows in order to validate an arbitrary transaction.